hi and welcome to makeup for 40 plus today I am doing an updated foundation routine I have a couple of new products and just wanted to share them with you I do change my foundation routine fairly regularly so just thought I'd do an updated routine so this is the final result well, no eyeshadow or lipstick um, so it probably looks a bit bland at the moment but I will be applying those very shortly so if you're interested how I got this look please stay watching if you liked it please thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe because I love it and if you've got any feedback or any requests please leave those in the comments bar and you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter my Facebook page etc etc they're all down below in the bar box they're all down below in the box and all the links are there so thanks for watching and yeah I hope you enjoy so as I mentioned I'm going to do an updated foundation routine I change my routine for my foundation so often so I just thought I'd do an updated one today um, just for something different and just to give you an idea of some of the different things I'm trying and the techniques that are working for me so hopefully you'll get some ideas out of it too so let's start still using my one color corrective primer just really like this and still just with a pump just to go over the center part of my face to minimize the pores I still find this works like magic for me so I still use this just about every day I'm trying a few different BB creams out at the moment just basically so I can review them and let you guys know you know what I find works for me at the moment I'm trying this one with this I just basically just place it roughly all over my skin so very attractive look like I've got some sort of disease also started using a beauty blender which I found to be absolutely magic I wondered what all the hype was about and wondered whether it was actually worth it now I understand so I vary between my brushes and my beauty blender so I really really like it it really blends everything out beautifully so depending on what I'm doing depends on whether which foundation I'm using depends on whether I use my beauty blender or one of my brushes and I like a full coverage so I use the BB creams basically as a base rather than a foundation style on their own and I still take that down my neck also so just using my Revlon airbrush photo ready which I just put on a clear plastic CD case so I just leave it on that because it gives me a nice surface to work from and keeps my hands clean and to apply this I'm going to be using my Sigma flat top kabuki brush it's the F80 so basically I just gently dab and then I use a flat part of the not sure if you can see that on I use a flat part of the CD just to make sure and push it into the brush so that I get a good coverage and just basically stipple that all over my face and I tend to do one coat with this and then I build it up again with a second coat just very lightly
I like this because it is buildable and as I say I do like a medium to have every coverage. Then once I've got that basically down and stippled I just go in with my beauty blender and take a small amount on the beauty blender just to catch any missed parts and ensure that it's all blended out into my hairline and that I haven't missed anywhere. And between the finish on it and the beauty blender it gives a really flawless finish. So this is what the tube looks like. And it's just a little squeeze applicator. So I'm just going to put that, obviously a lot comes out so that's something to be aware of. And I'm just going to use the other end of my beauty blender and blend that out under my eyes in that V shape. So just keep blending that until So this is a new one for today, so we'll try all this and see how it goes. I have been using the Instant Rewind, which I love. I use the um, Eye Brightener one, so this looks very similar to that in that gives that beautiful brightness to the under your eye area and the center of your face. So just blending that out. I have to say I really am impressed with the Beauty Blender and the way that it just blends everything so beautifully together. I mean I love my brushes but I have to say that this is, I can see now why everybody hypes about it because it really does do a fabulous job. You can see that's blended out. That really quite nicely. So before I do anything else I always just put my e.l.f. high definition powder under my eyes after I put my concealer down. I like this because it's just so fine and it helps brighten plus it really does work as far as catching any fallout when I do my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to let that sit for a minute and set while I apply some bronzer and contour of my face a little. So I'm just going to go in with my NYX matte bronze, Bron my NYX matte bronzer which is in this shade and just a small little contouring brush and just around my temples and because I have a fringe I don't, I do run it up around my hairline but I don't um, you know do that in great detail and just around the outside of my face just to contour the outside and darken that slightly and then also bring it in just under the hollows of my cheekbones just to help contour my face. This light is quite harsh and I do have that HD powder on so it's actually making it probably look a little darker than it will end up being. Now I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with my eyes yet today but I think I might do something with the Sigma Paris pal palette because I just adore it so um, and I have just basically um, 
I'll stand up a little. I basically just have cream and black on today so I can do something a little bit colourful with my eyes. So I am just going to go in with Rouge out of the um, Paris palette and using the Sigma brush that came with it which I just dumped in the black eyeshadow. Not cool. So just going in with a bit of rouge and just blending that upwards into the contour colour. And the same on this side. And then just going in with my angled kabuki brush, the F the, the F84. I'm just going to go in with Lumiere and just dust that across the top of my cheekbones and just up into my eye a little just to give me that bit of highlight on my cheeks now I'm just going to knock away that powder As you can see, I'm still suffering with watery eyes and allergies, which is not doing my makeup any favours still. And I am knocking this away even though I will be applying it because I just want to get a nice finish for you for the flawless routine for, for the flawless foundation. Next I'm going in with my Too Faced absolutely invisible powder. I really like this and my little red powder puff and literally just pat that all over my face and I do apply this really generously. So I apply this very generously all over my face to set everything, including the blush, just to tame it down a little bit. And then I just go in with a soft fluffy brush. I just go in with a soft fluffy brush and knock off any of the loose powder. So you don't end up with any cakiness and just blends everything together. So there you have it, that's my updated foundation. No eyes, no lips. I'll do them shortly and I will put up another video for my look for today. So I hope this has been helpful and I hope that you've enjoyed it. And I hope to see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.